Alright guys, back again. So today I want to test whether, or want to see how good this stuff works on cyanobacteria. Okay, so here you can see there is loads of cyano all across the bottom, all on these little frags. And this is from not doing enough water changes, having too high PO4, generally just letting it go to rack and ruin for a little bit. No, this can happen to anybody. This is, it's, it's very, very common. Um, I've dealt with it a lot in the past. And it's generally from overfeeding the pipe fish in here and like a lot of food. It's a new tank still. I mean, everything else is doing really well. I mean, you can see these uh, flower pots here, just really loving life and then these are really looking nice as well, really nice colours coming out. Actually starting to get some colour back in uh, these ones that were bleached that were at the back of the old tank as well, which is um, really nice to see. You can see there's a tiny bit of green coming back into them, which is really good because they should be all as bright as the, uh, as the other heads. So I can't wait for them to all come back to life. And you can see here the uh, algaes that I put in, or the macro algaes have all got uh, a nice spread of it over them. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to treat this tank with ChemiClean if I can get it to focus on it. There we go. So I'm going to treat this with ChemiClean. So really simple to use. You've got all the instructions on the back there. You turn off your UV. You keep it all nice and oxygenated with your skimmer. I've lifted off the skimmer cup so all the air bubbles are going into the tank. Um, and this is a relatively small tank so I'm going to do its first treatment, leave it 48 hours and then I'm going to perform a nice big water change. So let's give this 48 hours and see what it does. Okay, it's been 48 hours since I uh, added the ChemiClean. You can see there the skimmer's really overflowing. You've got a nice, <laughs> nice bit of um, froth going on. Um, I've turned off the UV steriliser, and uh, yeah, I mean it does. I mean it still looks like there's some on there. But what I'm going to use now is I'm going to get my trusty turkey baster. I'm going to go around and just blow everything off um, before I do my water change. So hopefully that this will get some of it caught in the filter sock, and then I can change the filter sock as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is just get in there and just blast everything off. Right, so here's my dirty water bin. Um, I just fill it to, if you can see that light line there, I know that's 50 litres. So I'm just going to go and try and get rid of some of these bigger bits of uh, cyano that are floating around in there and do a 50 litre water change. Right, so now I've just disposed of my old bucket of water, just sticking this in, got 20, 23.5 and this tank is sitting at 24.3, so yeah, it's fine, um, I'll just do a slow adding of the water. I normally use my pump to do this, but um, because I'm not 100% sure how much I've taken out, I'm just going to do it little by little with my, uh, my little hand jug over there.
So here we go, after a good water change and a good scrub, the whole tank is looking so much better. The sand is all nice and clean. It's all looking really nice. I'm going to have to keep an eye on it now and make sure that it all stays like this. Everything's sort of a bit retracted, <laughs> but it's all been uh, fiddled with with the new water and everything. But no cyano anymore. I'm just going to change the uh, temperature, see if I can get a better picture. Let's see if I. Uh, that's better. So all along here looks so much better. See these heads in shot now, really coming out. <laughs> and these guys here have all closed up. Right Turkey Base did them all, but they'll all open up again soon. But oh, what a difference has that made. So yeah, really need to keep on top of this now. There's my little conch there. He's going to help keep that sand all stirred up. Very nice. Alright guys, so that's been my work. I've had it cut out today. So um, yeah, so I really think this Kemi Clean, well it's worked for today. I think now it's really important that I think it's a really good tool to just use once to get rid of it all, then do a really big water change and then keep on top of your water chemistry. I mean, it was clearly because I hadn't done as many water changes as I had to or should have done. And... Um, I had an, I'd let my PO4 sort of get away so um, I've changed all my PO4 media inside my reactor as well because that all needed refreshing so hopefully I've tested it now and it's 0 0.06 uh, parts per million which is a which is a nice range for an LPS tank so um, I'm going to test it again tomorrow and try and keep on top of those parameters um, hit the like button hit the share button comment subscribe and I'm going to attempt to get another video out tomorrow when hopefully I think I might start getting the frag tank wet tomorrow, um, but depending on how long things take me. So yeah, hopefully that's my plan anyway. See you soon.